using personal protective equipment. First, let's don PPE. Always secure long hair and loose clothing out of the way to ensure they don't interfere with experiments. First step in donning is to put on your body protection. Ensure that lab coats are clean and buttoned up completely. The next step in donning is to put on appropriate eye protection, followed lastly by donning your gloves. Choose gloves appropriate for your materials and ensure that the glove cuffs cover your lab coat cuffs. Always check for tears prior to beginning your work. Now let's talk about body protection. Body protection can take many different forms. This can include a regular lab coat or a fire retardant lab coat required for working with pyrophoric materials. Some procedures may also require a splash apron to be worn over a laboratory coat, such as using liquid nitrogen or particularly messy procedures. It is also acceptable to wear an apron and disposable sleeves or scrubs depending on the type of work you do. It is important to remember that your torso should be fully covered from your shoulders to your wrists. When removing body protection, always ensure that you touch the interior surfaces of your laboratory coat. This helps prevent contamination on your hands. Whenever you remove your coat, make sure that you store it appropriately. This can either be on a lab coat rack by itself, a hanger by itself as well, or you can also fold it inside out and store it inside of a sealable plastic bag. Now let's talk about eye protection. Safety glasses should be ANSI certified against the hazards you work with, including UV, laser, or impact. Also choose appropriate eye protection in the form of safety glasses, OTGs, or over the glasses glasses, or splash goggles. If you ever need to use a face shield for particularly messy or hazardous substances, make sure you use eye protection and a face shield. Always remove eye protection using the earpieces or the headband. Now let's talk about gloves. Always ensure you select appropriate gloves. You can check glove compatibility charts available from vendors to select gloves appropriate for your materials. Never touch personal items or environmental surfaces. Check for leaks before beginning work. Always double glove if necessary. If you know you're going to get messy, wear two pairs of gloves. Pay attention to sensations in your hands and change gloves if you notice anything funny. Discard them immediately after you have a spill or when you complete your work and never reuse disposable gloves. Also remember specialized hand protection like thermal protective gloves, cryo protective gloves, work gloves, rubber gloves, sharp resistant gloves. Make sure you choose what protects you the best. So you're working in the lab one day and you gotta check your phone, complete your homework for your other class, Scratch your nose. Check that gas cylinder. Oh, gotta tell your friend bye. Oh wait, hey, it's time to leave. By touching your personal items and environmental surfaces that you normally don't touch with gloved hands, you're contaminating everything, not only for yourself, but everyone else who comes along after you. Now let's talk about proper lab attire. Cloth tennis shoes are not appropriate for the laboratory. And well, this is why. <sighs> you also shouldn't have skin showing from your waist down, including your feet, your ankles, and any holes in your pants. Proper shoes for lab cover your entire foot and are liquid repellent. Well, because of reasons like this. And shorts or skirts are never allowed in the lab. 
never wear PPE in public areas, including elevators, hallways, classrooms, or office spaces. You must wear PPE in your lab space anytime that there are laboratory hazards not secured behind a physical barrier. This includes when lab mates are working and you aren't. Sitting at a computer in a lab space still requires a lab coat and eye protection. Now let's take off or doff PPE. It's the exact reversal of donning. First, remove your gloves. Let's watch that again, but more detailed. I have my gloves on. I'm gonna use some paint here um, to mock some contamination um, on my gloves. So I have contaminated gloves and how do I take them off without touching my skin and then thus contaminating my person? So you wanna pinch the palm of one of your gloves. You never wanna go from the very bottom because then you'll touch your skin and pull off that first glove. You wanna make sure you pull it off slowly, otherwise you're going to aerosolize whatever contaminants happen to be on your glove at that time. So you ball that glove up in your still gloved hand so I call this clean hand, dirty hand. Take your clean hand, and this one can go underneath the cuff of your glove. And then you wanna pull that one off inside out as well. So then you wanna make sure that you dispose of your gloves into a trash receptacle. Step two, remove your eye protection by the earpieces. Lastly, remove your lab coat by only touching the interior surfaces of your lab coat. Ensure that you store it in such a way so as to prevent contamination of the inside of your coat. Always wash your hands prior to leaving the laboratory. Even though you wear gloves, that doesn't mean that they are impervious to the materials you handle. Best practice, wash your hands, then secure your laboratory space.